you know what's crazy about that situation? This, with me and Charlie Murphy happened in 1981. From that moment on, I hadn't seen Charlie Murphy since. So I, we never ran back into each other. Us being in the same comedy game, we never crossed paths. We never saw each other again. But his brother, I was able to um, apologize to him about 20 years later. We was all in the same club. And it was amazing how my life had changed. I was successful. I was pulling up on my Bentley. He was in his Rolls Royce. He was in the VIP section. And they had me right next to him in the VIP section. So as a man, I wanted to apologize. He, see, him and his cousins didn't even think about that stuff no more. It was the comedians, because I'm a, I'm, I'm a good comedian. Whenever you bring up T.K. Kirk's name, haters or people who have uh, 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 a low intelligent level will always bring, oh yeah, but you know he did this to Eddie Murphy or Charlie Murphy, and nobody cared. So I only said something to the man because as, as I became a man and as to principles and morals and how these guys let me in their home and they treated me like a king that I violated that respect. And when I learned that years later, this is the reason why I wanted to apologize to Eddie because this man, they treated me like a king and I was in their home and I violated that. And that's a horrible thing when you trust someone and they come in your house and steal. But it took me years. No, I wasn't ashamed. I didn't care. But as I became a man, I cared. Understood. Yeah, see, because that happened. Yeah, see, because I was young when that happened. I was 20-something years old when that happened. So I, when I became a man and understood what being a man is about and you don't do those type of things, this is the reason why I had to apologize. So I'm at peace with myself. What did, what, what did you do with the Rolex? Did you just, did like, you rock it? I, I took it. Mm -hmm. I put the Rolex back the next day. Oh wow! Yeah. So why does they did get the Rolex back? I didn't take it and keep it. The oh, Rolex okay. came back. I hopped the fence the next day and I laid it on a table um, by the pool and I left. So dang, they made it seem like you was flossing. Yeah, that's and what I'm saying. They took the, the, the story it's, and it was back. legendary and stuff that I've heard when I came in the game. But right. Like, okay, so that's that's yeah. crazy how they kind of like lit that. Yeah, and I'm glad that I'm glad you asked that question. Yeah, they got the watch back. It was like they took the watch from me. You know, they was gonna do that. But the conscious sign of said it, or you just like to make, make, I took it back. Damn, I thought she was out here. Hey, Eddie, nah, where you at? Nah. This thing got the roller. Nah, okay. Nah. And and by me touring with NWA and having uh, mm -hmm. that persona. Yeah. At that time, as years went on, mm -hmm. I didn't care what people thought of me. I wanted to have that street edge. I wanted. So to you kind of let it. I let it go. I let people think what they wanted to think. Mm. When I became a man, I understood your reputation. The way people feel and the way they think about you is everything. They bring up your name, what are they going to follow that with? Exactly. It's everything. So I cherish my name, my reputation and everything. And even though some people still might bring up old shit, yeah. when I deal with people, they're like, oh, you're nothing like what I heard. And that means a lot to me.